Without no money, without a home, without a daddy, without a mama, you know, um, without a job, without a job, without a job, without a job. Across the metro area, so we're very far. So, I'm telling you, I'm very struggling with disobedience. A lot of them are very disobedient, and no matter what, the society and their life and their friends are society. You know, the streets are their life, it becomes overbearing over the parents. And they believe more in that than they do actually the parents. And the parents are speaking about what they've been through, what they've accomplished, and the things that happened in the past. Teenagers don't want to hear that. They want to do what their friends say do instead of what their parents say. You know, it's not about financial. It's about them trusting and believing in their parents. So that's a big struggle. That's what's in our neighborhood now. You know, when we work and earn what we got, they figure they can go on the street and make double what we got. But they do a lot of prison time. We need to get to that. That's all I'm going to take what you got right now. <laughs> See, I told you you got power. <laughs> Didn't I tell you all that? See, if you, got a mother, if you have a mother and a father. See, he got struggles. If you have a mother mm -hmm. and a father teaching you. Well, see, you they can have teach you and you still ain't going to obey them. You're going to do what your friends say. Well, we've all done that, Chris. Not if you got that belt put on. Yes, <laughs> it didn't hurt you. It didn't help you. It did. It did. Well, I'm going to get cut out. Which one? Um, I've struggled through life trying to stay on the right path and, you know, take care of my kids and stuff. Growing up was a struggle with my mom and everything. Um, I had a mom who used to use drugs. Um, so that took a lot for me because I had to be the bigger person and take care of three other brothers. And so my education for myself kind of sucks, but I, you know, it's a little lot that I've been through, um. You know, I got four kids now, and I was a single parent trying to take care of them. The most difficult period of my life was when I was younger, and um, my mom was using drugs. That was a lot because I was the oldest girl. I have three younger brothers. And that was kind of hard, you know, you go to little school events, you know, and you can't tell them your mom is coming. Or you say your mom comes and your mom shows up drunk, you know, or just don't show up, you know. Actually, yes, I've had, always had one person that through everything that I went through, no matter what, I could call. Um... Unfortunately, at this time, it was my aunt. She passed away recently. So, you know, I don't have anyone, but I used to talk to her and she would help me and guide me through the things that I needed to go through and stuff in life or give me that conversation that I needed in replace of my mom, even as I was older, because she's always been there for me. I refuse to be like my mother. I refuse to be like her. I, I want to do better for my kids than what was done to me. And being the fact that I have four girls, it's like, hey, I want to do better. It, it strives me every day to want to do right, to try to do right, you know, and stay on the right path. Not only because it's not just me anymore. I have someone else to look at. And the things that I went through with my mom, I don't want my kids to go through with me. So in other words, I don't want to keep the pattern going. In a way, I kind of, I used to wonder what it would be like for my mom to be a different person. And, I mean, I don't think that I would be where I am today had it not been for my mom being the person who she was. And I just, I'm glad, kind of, 
you know what I mean, to say that I've been through this so that it makes me want to do right, want to stay stronger. But at times, you know, it's a disadvantage to that as well. So to answer that question, like I said, I no, I guess if I wasn't for her being the person who she was, I wouldn't be the person that I am today. Things happen in your life for a reason. And you know what I mean? Some things are not supposed to happen, you know, just based on what we know about life. But when things happen to you, you can change the outcome. You don't have to stay in the situation that you're in. You know, it's always good out of a situation, but you have to find the good in a bad situation. And don't never get up. Don't never give up. I mean, like, if you want to do something, you want to be something, don't let your past hold you back. Because if you do well on your past, your past will hold you back. When people been through a lot, they need people there to help them. And you need to find the right resources, the people that can help you stay on the path that you are so that you don't be the bad situations that happen to you and you don't put yourself back into those bad situations. You remain positive. Some days you're going to you know, have bad days about some of the things. It depends what stream you've been through or whatever. You're going to have days you think about it, brings you down. It's okay to cry. That's another thing that I want to let me know. It's okay to cry because if you don't cry and you hold it in, that's how a lot of people go to committing suicide and they go to using drugs or just doing things that are not right. So cry. If you have to cry, cry. It'll help you get through it. Just remain focused on what you want to do.